Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro. And yes, it's that time to put up or shut up. This is portfolio number five, where I take headlights like this and turn them into something like this. Dozens of times. You know, if not hundreds of times, if you add all of them together. And show you the power of this method. That every single time, your headlights will come out like this. Whether they're, uh, you know damaged permanent damaged or whatever's going on your headlights will come out like this the better health your headlights are in the better it'll come out check it out time to put up or shut up consistency is king and this is the most consistent method let me give you one piece of advice Let's get down to business. Okay, so um, this is portfolio number five, uh, which entails, of course, that there is number one, two, three, and four. Before this, if you go down uh, through my video logs, you can witness them all. And you can see they have all different headlights and uh, different time frames and uh, quarters and time periods of uh, headlights being done. And even this is just uh, tip of the iceberg. You know, this is, you know, maybe 5% of the lights done because uh, once again, I don't record all of them. Uh, I just record uh, some of them are as far as um, when I say record, I don't mean just making videos for YouTube. I mean just making a uh, visual record of, um, you know, what I did or my work, you know, which is, you know, uh, sometimes a 10 second before, 10 second after or something like that, um, you know, just for other purposes, which we'll get into uh, in the future with some other videos. Um, That'll be a little bit different than these, but uh, that's in the future. But anyhow, um, so I, I generally take pictures, um, and that is a tip, a pro tip, is I take pictures before and after of everything I do. And sometimes, sometimes I take a small video snippet, 10 seconds, like I said, before and after, of um, every other uh, video I do, or every other um, uh, vehicle I do. I don't always uh, do the video snippets because I'll be in a hurry sometimes or I'll be, um, you know, got a, a full slate or I'm trying to beat weather or trying to beat traffic or something and I, you know, every little bit counts. Uh, but I do take pictures of every single before and after um, headlight restoration I do. Uh, you see this one here. This was um, a uh, full headlight restoration far as both sides and also uh, top and bottom far as as the fog lights here but as you can see and you're starting to get if you watch all my videos a hundred plus videos on this channel ladies and gentlemen um, and you can see the consistency of this method and a lot of people uh, some people might misunderstand you know misunderstand what I'm saying when I say that uh, I mean all the time they look the same all the time they are the top level of perfection okay they're perfect they're a certain genre of perfect which is the top of the top the cream of the crop the best of the best okay the highest level you can get every single time even if they're damaged even if they have permanent damage you'll see some on here that have permanent spider cracking and things like that but they still come out this way right you can't get rid of you can only work with what you're working with or work with what is given to you you can't take a light that spider cracked or has hazing or foggy on the inside or anything like that and make them <laughs> new again okay you can only work with what you got if that makes sense okay now look at this level of consistency if somebody else was to show you a reel of consistency or a lot of these guys on the internet or whatever would show you a consistency reel of their videos nine out of ten of them you would see you know fucked up shit and the thing is they can't even lie because if you go through their portfolio if you go through my videos and you see all my portfolios and you see all my videos and you see all my pictures or whatever you'll see how consistent my shit is if you went through my first video all the way up to this video right now you'd be like god damn he's right this 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 is like they're beautiful they all look the same they all look perfect like top of the top and then you'll see other people's or other videos of other people or other channels that will have a couple different headlight restorations and you're like damn that one looks different than the last one and that one looks different than this one and this one is pretty good but it still has yellow in it and this one is pretty damn good it's almost perfect 
right? And there'd be fucking so many differences. Okay. Uh, consistency is king. Why do you think uh, the king of fast food is McDonald's? Right. The king of fast food. The king of fast food. Think about it. There's no other fast food that's higher than McDonald's. As far as uh, worldwide presence and numbers and revenue and all that shit like that. Nobody has ever really dethroned McDonald's since they became the top dog. Why? Because every time you go there, what do you get? I can go to one in Tennessee. Okay. I can go to one in San Diego, California. I can go to one in 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 uh, 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 Florida. Right. I can go to one in Florida. One of those places in Florida. Right. Uh, I can go to one in China. I can go to one in 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 um, uh, freaking uh, New Zealand or something. Right. And they are all the same. The consistency level is through the roof. When I order something in any one of these places, a Big Mac in all those places, well, guess what it tastes like? The same exact shit, okay? And that's what people want. They want consistency. They want to know that when this guy come does my shit, guess what? Oh my God, it's perfect. It's going to come out like those pictures I've seen. He's not just pulling his punches and taking pictures of his best ones or making videos of his best ones. He's just randomly picking shit. Okay, it's it's consistency and consistency is key. Um, with that being said, uh, you know I go through other people's channels, and uh, you know, uh, believe it or not, uh, fun fact: I was the first headlight restoration channel that I ever came across. It was me. Okay, and I started about two years ago, um, coming up on two years ago, it's about a year, and um, uh, beginning of the year it'll be two months, beginning of next year, uh, two, two years, excuse me. Um, when I started a channel, part of the reason why I started the channel is because there was not one headlight restoration channel, at least not that I found, and if somebody else found something somewhere else, I don't know, but I kept consistently looking for it, and all I found was um, some uh, detailers who did uh, headlight restoration one way or uh, some Joe Schmo guy saying that I can fix these headlights and I did it this way and there was no real technicians out there or headlight specialists or professionals out there on the level that I am out there okay or just period out there there was no headlight restoration channel okay until I made one and now there are a couple different ones okay <laughs> now there's a couple different ones and uh, you know I noticed that after six seven months it starts sprouting up and then like what time goes on now more and more and more and more sprout up okay which is fine it's just whatever it is that's what happens when you're an innovator in a uh, trend center or whatever you should do a um, restoration you know, that's, that's do this part method. of the game and it's um you know it's it's part of a headlight community it's not really i don't look at it too much as competition um um, obviously, I mean, because I mean, look at these headlights, right? But <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, I'm uh, a teacher of many and I'm an inspirer of many, and I like that. And that's uh, part of the reason why I make these videos. Um, but just look at that light right there. That is crazy. There's actual video on some of these lights. There's actual videos that uh, are of these lights that are on um, my channel. Okay. Um, but with that being said, uh, just like my last video I stated, I'm not doing this to poke fun at them or make fun at them because they do less work of me, you know, less uh, of a high level of work than me or whatever like that. It's just that um, uh, I would love to see them uh, transfer into uh, doing better headlight restoration on this level or uh, doing this uh, method or whatnot. And, uh, you know really rise up but the thing is I know they won't because uh, you know a lot of men are prideful and uh, bullheaded and they don't care if it's wrong and then on top of that a lot of people are lazy they're not gonna do all this work that it takes to do this method to have headlights look like this because if there was a guy that fucking was like on the internet who was like hey look use this and do this method this way and look at these lights boom and it's like they look like they're not even there they're see-through they're the best looking thing ever seen in the world like mine right if he if he could do that to me best believe I'm going to and he, and he can prove that it's uh, uh, healthier and they they look so good and they work so much better and he can you know proofs in the pudding like this and he can just show me a million videos a million examples you know whatever of of what uh, you know 
had lights uh, come out like with this method, I would for sure jump on it. Why? Because, uh, you know, I want the best. You know, I just want the best. I want to uh, perform the best and I want my shit to look the best. I'm not satisfied with uh, mediocre or subpar uh, outcomes. That's not me. Uh, there's places for people like that, and then there's places for people like me. And, uh, you know, that's the top and the bottom, okay? If you're neither one, I mean, if you're not one, you're the other, pretty much, if you think about it. So, um, anyhow, look at this light. God damn, that's, that's gorgeous, right? Now, this consistency level has a lot to do with this method. If you do this method, you will gain this consistency level. If you put the hours in and you put the research in, uh, you know, and that's the thing about this channel. I take all the, the research and all the uh, pain, sweat, and tears of figuring shit out, and I tell it to you right here. I don't hide shit. I show you every single i don't even cut and edit my videos like some people some guys are gonna cut it oh look at this and make it look like it's 10 minutes when he spent 45 minutes on one light right they're gonna they're gonna speed it up through there they're gonna cut it they're gonna switch scenes you can see like they literally switch now the camera's over here now the camera's here and this and that i don't even cut those out and do anything like that because i want you to see that i'm actually doing from beginning to end there's no tricks there's no nothing and i show you every single thing i use and i show you every single way I do it and I show you every single product that I use I even include the exact links in places where I get them from in the bio the exact ones I use so you can buy the exact products from the exact place transparency 1000% like infinity percent all right I don't want to hide when you know one of the things that, that that choked me up and made me laugh and pissed me off at the same time and it still happens to this day when I uh, was starting and I wanted to look, look at videos and I was doing my research and checking out different methods and trying different methods every fucking time I got on the internet and it still happens every single there's people that made videos last week that are still doing it and it's like why hide it if your method this is bullshit anyways and it's like it doesn't look like this when it's done it doesn't perform like this and you're spraying shit on headlights that fuck them up in the long run right so why hide it right these people are like oh you know I don't I'm not gonna tell you what I'm using I'm not going to tell you what kind of sandpaper okay boom strike one. Oh, I'm not going to uh, show the can that I'm using I'm not gonna I'm not gonna list it for sale I'm not gonna list you know a copy of things that I use I'm not gonna tell you guys anything it's my secret like oh my god like, come on I can understand if you were like if you were like KFC or some shit and you're you were like you know the secret recipe where nobody can replicate this and it doesn't taste as good as this right or it's like come on man you got a guy myself that's on the internet that's blowing your shit away so why even hide it and he shows everybody how to achieve his method right so I'm just saying it, it just pissed me off in the beginning and I, I swore not to do that and I show you guys every single thing because I'm an influencer I'm a motivator and you know I want you to go out there and do your own headlights if you want some supplemental income I want you to go out there and and get it okay I want you to do these things why because I'm one person and a planet of, of a couple billion which has a couple billion cars that need a couple billion headlight restorations. Do you fucking think I can do that? I couldn't do that if I lived for two thousand years. I could. I couldn't handle that myself if I if I lived for a billion years. So why the fuck do I care if you go out there and do the headlight restoration, right? So that's what I want to do. In the beginning, a lot of people were like, "Oh my God, you're gonna give away your secrets, this and that." And uh, you know, and, and at first, you know, people, you know, you, that's why you don't listen to people because sometimes that kind of bothered me. Like, oh man, should I be giving away my secrets? Should I be like these other guys? Right? And I'm like, man, fuck that. You know how many? You know, in the, my city right now, there's like 1.6 million people. Okay, out of those 1.6 million people, I wager maybe a million people have cars that will that will forever need headlight restoration. This shit is not permanent. Even and these assholes that say they're permanent because I put 2k clear on it man that shit lasts three years and it starts peeling off or whatever okay just like this shit this shit don't peel off but I mean just like this shit is the same range some of them will last a little bit longer but they'll destroy your headlights so what people are forever going to need it because people have vehicles I mean my vehicle is a 2013 
okay? And, you know, some people think it's not. They think it's a brand new vehicle, but it's 2013, okay? You don't know how many times that vehicle has needed a headlight restoration. It's 10 years old, okay? It's needed a headlight restoration at least two, three times in its life, okay? I gave it the first two, but it should have had one a long time ago before I even purchased the vehicle. So I'm just saying that these cars will outlast these headlights, you know, tenfold. If you have the car 20 years, it's going to, you know, running 20 years, it's going to need a minimum of five headlight restorations, right? You know, a minimum of five headlight restorations. Think about it. So it's like, you know, there's nothing to hide here. I don't hide shit, and I give it to you raw and uncut because that was one of the things that really pissed me off in the beginning, trying to figure out what's going on and try to educate myself and find things out and uh, do things like this, all right? Like, look at this. Look at this. This is actually one of the videos that is up and running right now as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's one. But yes, consistency. Uh, about 90% of these um, lights that I'm showing you on any one of these portfolios is not even lights I made videos about because I mean, I just can't make videos about every single light I do. I wouldn't have enough storage. I wouldn't have enough time. Okay, so I pick and I choose, you know, out of every like headlight restoration, I probably do every seventh headlight I do a, a video about, you know, or maybe even less. Sometimes I'll do 10 or 12 headlights and I'm like, shit, I better make a video soon and I, 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 I find something that's interesting and I make a video about it. Um, but yeah, I don't have time to do every one. I wish I did. <laughs> it, you got, it, it would be flooded. I'd probably have 300, 400 videos up right now, you know, if not more. Um, but uh, uh, if you watch what I do, you know, the moral of the story is out of those 100 videos up, 100 plus videos up on my channel, um, if you subscribe to this channel, you get these tools, or you even get a close representation of these tools and supplies. In the bio, I give you options. By far the best method, most consistent method that you can do yourself. Let me give you one piece of advice. 